So, hello fellow geology buffs, and uh, this is Glenn, and in today's video, uh, another video on the gold that you can find in Victoria. So, hopefully one day I'll be able to do the other states, but now I'll just focus on Victoria as I'm learning this. So when I do these videos, I am still a learner, so hopefully, basically, we can find the information. So here we have the gold fields. So this is from the government of Victoria. And these are geological maps. So on the side we have all the geological maps. So like geology and slopes if you're interested in that. Uh, deep leads, which if you're looking for gold, uh, these maps have information about the deep leads. So here is the Castle Main deep lead, and we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, but if I go back, so here, first things first, is that to go gold prospecting as well as have jewels, um, whatever you want to look for, even fossils, you need a miner's license. So here you go to the Victorian government. Get a miner's license, it costs $25.20. Uh, but this doesn't give you a right to go and dig for whatever you want anywhere. So you got a section on archaeological sites, Aboriginal places and objects. Uh, you can't use explosives. Uh, you have to use hand equipment. And you got some here. Uh, and the miners license lasts for 10 years. People under 18 don't need it. Uh, you can buy it from other people. And uh, there should be a PDF of where you can actually go and dig. Uh, so that I will do in another video. So here, this is a good map. So this is from the State Library of Victoria. Just look up Victorian gold fields and you can actually come up with this map or you can uh, oh anyway so here we have in yellow we have the main gold field so you've got Ballarat you got Mount Kurong and that is over oh uh, where did I look before? That is over here at, uh, so this part here in, uh, Riola around this area. So if I get it on, so around these parks area, so Riola, that's the main epicenter. And this is the gold bearing area around here. Then you got Mac in Vigo. Oh, you got Bendigo actually. That's a large gold stretch. Mac in Vigo. And that's Pacapanyols up there. You got Seymour. Goulburn. So I'll show you those quickly. Uh, so we have Bendigo. So it's a large stretch going up north, right through Bendigo itself. Then we got Seymour. Okay, we're Seymour. Okay, ah uh, yeah, so you got uh, pretty much this triangle going around, uh, and it goes to Pakapanyol, but the Pakapanyol mil military base, obviously you can't go on it. You've got these areas around here, and the other area is around the Goulburn River. Uh, Okay, where is that dam I found? Oh yeah, so here's, here's the dammed Golden River, Ilden, so around this area, I believe. And that would be the Golden area. Uh, and then we've got ovens. So ovens would be where ovens is. Okay, well, I'm not too sure. Ovens, Vic. Oh yeah, so there you go. There's ovens. Let's have a look at the town. Hmm, it's just an area. 
Okay, so you've got the ovens area, so ovens river and its tributaries. Uh, oops, wrong one. So, uh, is that the ovens river? Oh, there's the ovens river. Yeah, so around this area. So, uh, I would say that's probably alluvial. So you've got a lot of these peaks here that are probably eroding the gold out of. So that is uh, another good place. So this is a good map. And this is from... So you've got the gold map. These are in miles, so you need to convert it to kilometres. Um, fixed circles of distance, 30 kilometres. And two gold mines. And this is date. Does it have a date on it? The Diggers Road Guide to the Gold Mines for Victoria. So a lot of the old, largest gold deposits have been found around here in Bendigo and around Ballarat. And I think the largest one was what we're going to have a look at now. So here is a chart of all the large gold nuggets that we found. So the two largest, welcome. So this is if uh, didn't I? Oh, I used this map. This is a uh, paint. So two thousand one hundred fifty nine ounces. So that's this one here. That has been melted down. Then we have the Welcome Stranger, 2,280 ounces. So that's that one is at least four million dollars in today's value, at current gold prices. So, and that that weighed at least 100 kilograms. So you're not going to be able to pick that up. A lot of these have ones. This one's 884 ounces. Uh, so it's probably at least 40 or 50 kilos. You still probably couldn't pick that up. Uh, 246 ounces, needful. And you've got 377 platypus. So it's probably 10, 20 kilograms. I haven't looked them up. And, yeah, because I don't really use ounces, I'm not too sure what the actual weight. I need to times it by at least 31 grams. Uh, so 125 ounces. So how much is 125 ounces? It's 125 times 31 roughly. Uh, that's about 4 kilograms. So the platypus. 377 times 31. Uh, yeah, so that's about 11.5 kilograms. So uh, those ones are... Pretty easy. So two two eight zero uh, two two eight zero times thirty one. Oh, it's about seventy kilograms for that. But with the uh, other stuff on it, it was actually a uh, hundred kilograms because you had ever sedimentary rock that they couldn't get off. And the various quartz. This is where you find the actual gold. Where there's actually quartz deposits. Lofa, 77 ounces. So this was in 1891. There have been a few found since then. Uh, another one is the Hand of Faith. So this is the most recent. It is... Uh, 875 ounces or 27 kilograms so what's 875 um, that is nearly two million dollars worth of gold wow so if you find one of these oh, you become a millionaire even if you pay 50 percent to the government in uh, tax, so you still make a lot of money.
And that will set a lot of people up for life. So it is information. Wikipedia doesn't have information on most of them. But here is the the actual nugget itself. So it's still in existence. A lot of the larger nuggets have been melted down. So if you wanted to find the older maps, because a lot of the older fields are no longer worked or uh, people forgot about them, you need to go to the State Library of Victoria and it has information on gold mines and mining. So gold field places and then you got the uh, the book. Let's have a look at that. See what it says. Okay, and then you got Goldfield Registry, 1872 for Bendigo. Uh, and you got a lot of other places, so I won't go through it. Uh, it's just a good site. And then you got maps down here. Okay, ham squatting map. Victoria, that would be very interesting. Okay, got Donnelly. So let's have a look at the 1870, no, 1857. So squatting map, full screen, increase. So we've got the gold fields in yellow. And here I'm not, because, yeah, because I don't have the map, uh, I can't see much detail in that, so don't worry about it. Then we have, okay, Market Square. Hmm? It's just a town. I presume. So you need to actually go through these. Uh, so what did that say? Okay, maps can be helped to trace development of goldfield towns. Oh, so, so that was not a goldfield, it's just the towns. Uh, soil, rock, and geological geological water sheets produced by the Geological Survey Office is especially good for this detail and they can be viewed online. So quarter sheets. Okay, you got 1860, so uh, okay, geological department. Yeah, so you need to find just a lot of different ones. Uh, but we won't worry about going through that. And what is this? Let's have a quick look at this book. Ooh, gold rush mineral districts of Victoria gold fields yeah so let's see contents okay illustrations nuggets and alluvium uh, cement quantity of cement Raised, crushed, quartz mining. So, so this is a good good for you if you want to go mining. So obviously the techniques that you're going to be used if you're going there are the same as in the past because you can't use machinery. Uh, so this will be a good uh, thing to look for. And this is interesting for me. Fossils found in deep leads. And let's have a look at the first contents. So you've got granite, Paleozoic rock, Carboniferous rock. So it's got different rock types. So I might download this myself and read it. While I'm not interested in actually going gold prospecting, I am interested in the information of how the gold is. Uh, found or how geologically how it forms so that's why I'm making these videos very interesting for me so in the next video I will go through one of these maps and we'll see if we can find the uh, geological contents I think I made another one before and that might have been the alpha geological deposits or somewhere anyway i'll load this video here i hope this helps you with your gold mining in victoria 
uh, maybe I'll start on South Australia as well. Thank you very much and have an awesome geological time.